Good morning. Welcome to Bits and Banter and our weekly show called Tweak the Week. So this week we have a very important thing to discuss with you. Bala, good morning. Good morning, Raj. <laughs> hey, did you know LG is uh, going off uh, completely? That Perengai Dabba man? Hey, Perengai is not. Hey, I am a true blue Tamil man. LG means I know, Perengai Dabba. I know, no, 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 no. We, I am talking about LG, the South Korean uh, uh, or whatever. <laughs> Uh, uh, phone company brand. they are saying yeah uh, electronic brand they are saying they are not going to make phones okay but then that is not what we are going to discuss today but then anyway uh, so now i know how important ld is to the to the people who are supposed to be watching us <laughs> so i'm not going there so we'll change the topic man what man I completely you have messed up my topic today anyway can't so <laughs> yeah i can't help it so we are going what we will do today is we'll just take a look at the the vaccine Uh, scenario today i mean there is a lot of lot happening as you all know uh, the vaccines so the are being vaccine. given yeah covid vaccines i mean that's only vaccine these days uh, the vaccination is happening there have been cries of uh, short supply uh, there have been uh, political statements around uh, exporting vaccines without uh, ensuring that india gets its i mean the indians get it so there's a lot of stuff happening around this bala what's your thought on it in an immediate thought on it see there is obviously there is a cry of that it being shot in few states in the india and uh, most of it is most of them are blaming their center has botched it up especially because they have exported a bulk of it to other countries but i think that is a very facile or even facetious not facetious a facile statement because i don't think that is the case because india was india if at all they got something right as this covid uh, vaccine program we were yeah, like correct. early ahead of other countries we got the supply thing going we have a central control room though you can question the central control room whether it needs to be so centralized that's a different story but if at all we got something right it was the covid vaccination program so yeah. i don't understand this uh, cry of criticism from certain quarter some of it is certainly politically motivated i would think raj you are right because see let us take a look at the facts the data that it, that presents itself so so we we i mean india was probably amongst the earliest to start the trials and sort of get uh, get the vaccines out right i mean initially exactly. there was a lot of uh, confusion about whether it is co vaccine co which what is going to happen i mean there was a lot of criticism going around to the point where 1st of january when we started the vac drive uh, you i mean uh, vodafone at least i know that my vodafone ringtone has changed to please uh, don't worry about the vaccines you need to take it that sort of a ringtone came up so okay. government had to sort of push something like that and by april 2021 look look at the numbers today i mean we are talking about we are vaccinating 3 million people per day which is higher than the united states exactly right number one we, i mean we have vaccinated close to 87 88 million people that is around 8 9 crore people i mean we can always say we are 100 crores but then i mean that is obviously the challenge it's not going to happen overnight uh and definitely is more than num- numbers from the united states So exactly, I mean, but, uh, yeah. I'll just add to the numbers. But yeah. though the numbers are good, the general thing is we need to hasten up the process because if at all by the yardstick we are roughly vaccinating around two crore people per week, which is the yeah. The, and assuming we have, I mean, we are around one forty crores as a nation. Assuming we need to vaccinate around hundred crores of those people, the I mean, with two doses, if it is going to be two hundred crore doses with two yeah. crores as uh, per week. that would take uh, obviously take us around 100 weeks simple yeah that is two so, years yeah two, two years, years. Uh, th- yeah. that is uh, that is something we can't afford to wait for so long so we need to find a way around this how yeah. do we find that is the c- real critical and the creative challenge yeah the other thing also is that see when people are getting these doses people are forgetting that you need still need to be safe you need you still need to have social distancing so all of those things happen so we have spoken about it in an earlier program I mean, look yes. at it this Two way. I mean, you totally, yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. We have about 15 million people affected, which is not a, which is, which is not a joke. Uh, so you know, we all, we all know the states. So I don't want to go over again. You have Maharashtra, exactly. Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Uttar Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. These are the places. Yeah. So these are the places. So, and the point is that see, it, it, it still needs to sort of. You are right, Bala, because it needs to. There needs to be a at least a doubling, if not tripling, of the the effort. that is exactly. that is true now so now where the problem comes is uh, i don't think whether forget about exp- exp- i mean the export part we'll come to that 
uh, does India have the sort of capability to produce that many vaccines? Because one of the things which I remember reading was uh, Adar Punawala Puna of Serum Institute, Serum which Institute. COVID Shield. Yeah, COVID Shield saying that. I mean, when, he, when we started, he said you could make about 100 million uh, 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 vials. Exactly. Yeah. So now it looks like they can get to 100 million only by June. I mean, this mm -hmm. was this was something Punawala had given an interview recently to BBC, if I'm not mistaken, where he said only by June he could get to the 100 million target. Uh, the, so the, one of the reasons, I mean, that's a very good point. One of the reasons that the domestic uh, production has been curtailed because we only have those private institutes in conjunction with certain uh, uh, government agencies. We are they are trying to do it. See, one of the problems is because uh, I don't want to go there, but one of the real reasons is you had this. Uh, and you had Anbumani Ramdas when he was the health minister in the, under the UPA. He mm. kind of uh, stopped the uh, public sector undertaking uh, institutes like that is one famous institute in, in, King, in Chennai, King's Institute, it's one of the oldest and uh, better institutes. They, they kind of uh, put an end to government undertakings making these kind of things. At the time, there was no co co COVID or anything, but in general, they kind of put a stop to vaccination program for, I mean, vaccination manufactured by these government uh, government companies, public sector entities. That yeah, is kind yeah. of uh, coming back to bite us in the, in the posterior. Yes, so you're right. See, that is a brilliant point because, see, I mean, a lot of things that have happened in the past, see, we didn't realize the ramifications of that. And it's not as if these guys, I mean, Bharat Biotech and uh, uh, Serum Institute, Serum Institute, SII are, aren't trying hard, but then the facilities are only that much. That is one I mean, thing. And I'll tell you one more thing, Bala. There is one more thing which, which needs to be sort of, they, I think these guys have already returned to the government saying, you know what, there are things which we are not getting. I think it is called uh, importing cell culture and cell so culture stuff and all. Yeah, they are not getting their hands on enough of it. See what President Joe Biden in America has done. He has asked yeah. the administration to identify shortfalls in materials. And exactly. he has said, uh, yeah, and he has said no more exports. So that is That's one a part killer of the move. Story. That's a killer move from India. Yeah. India from a killer move from perspective of countries like India. Because yeah. I remember reading an article on Guardian when Indian exports were being prized. They said India is trying to make uh, money out of uh, human misery. But what yeah. is US doing? <laughs> yeah, so see, the point is, see, the different rules for different people. That is exactly, exactly. the point. I mean, see, uh, we'll talk about the India making money part a little later. I think that's something which we'll wind up the program with because that's we need to go into it a little bit because there is just a lot of chaos around this. I think we need to cut the clutter there a little bit. But then you're coming to your point, Balasi. Uh, you know that this is this is the task at hand. I mean, you have started the process, and like you said, Balas, you need to sort of speed up the process. There is no way you can uh, go at this rate because, like you, I mean, the, the number you put forward for. I mean, are we, are we saying that we need to wait for two years before the entire thing completes, gets completed, the entire cycle gets completed? Yeah. So, which basically means that uh, within two years, you are seeing mutations, you are seeing so many things happening, which we are not getting into this time. I mean, it might not be as effective. So, this is the largest immunization program ever in the world. Yes, Agreed. ever undertaken. You are right. Yes, yes. The point is, it needs to be the fastest also. Also, that is where another it's challenge is that we are kind of caught in a catch-22 situation. See, yeah. India right now uh, immunizes people anywhere, uh, I mean, from the age of 45. The problem mm. is what happens to the people below 45? And they yeah. are the guys, especially the youngsters who are going out and catching the, I mean, COVID-19 uh, virus. Yes, yes. So, so that, that is, is the other thing, yes. Other challenge. That is the other so thing. So how do you so which tackle is, that? And see, so which is forget why. about go okay, vaccination and other things. People have to be more responsible than that. That's yes. the message. I mean, we have to said this several times. See, the, I mean, the, wherever you go, I find people. I mean, it looks like a rant. It looks like a cry of, I mean, the repeated cries. I know we are going through this rigmarole same and again and again. But the fact is, people are not responsible. And that is one of the main reasons why we are continuing to face this problem. Yeah, I mean, see, look at look at the, see, yesterday also, there were, there were I was looking at social media, there were, there were, uh, religious events happening in in Uttar Pradesh somewhere, and yesterday, in fact, I mean, many of you who saw IPL yesterday, you would have seen people sitting. I mean, the so-called VIP sitting in their enclosures without masks. Close, I mean, close, what close. what is? <laughs> huh? They were around only twenty or twenty-five, but they are sitting in close clusters. Clusters. <laughs> huh. So my no, my point is that see, and what are you presenting to the world now? If you are saying okay, it's okay to be not okay, 
I mean, you are sort of encouraging that. So I think we are ranting now. So we'll stop that. But I the mean, point you're right. I mean, is the point is the rant is right, Raj. What you I agree. Exactly. I agree. I'm just saying that. I mean, look. Uh, everywhere, the I mean, the the line is very simple. You just need to be safe. If you don't have to go out, don't. But the point is, if you need to go out, stay safe. And if you have any symptoms, start taking medicines. Do not. If this is. I mean, so the, COVID the is not is something. If I which, not yeah. say by my. I mean, uh, in careless ways, I'm also exposing others. It's not just uh, exactly. it's going to affect me also. I'm going to affect others also. That's the problem. See, cinema theaters, look at what has happened in a lot of cinema theaters, especially in South, because we have had big blockbuster releases in Andhra and Tamil Nadu. I mean, yeah. Kerala also, have, we had three releases this week, but I don't know whether the, I didn't see the kind of crowds that I saw in uh, Andhra and Tamil Nadu and also in Karnataka, Yuratna, a film that released last week. I saw... I mean, the clippings that I saw of the crowds were quite disturbing. Yeah, anyway, Raj, I mean, as you said, we were thing. ranting. It's the same we thing. This is, the, this is, see, it's very simple. I mean, your safety is in your hands. I mean, I keep saying this. If you're wearing a helmet on your head because the cop is standing at the next corner, I don't think you're getting it right. <laughs> your head is yours. You need to protect it. As simple as that. So, it. same way, you need to protect your life and the life of your near, uh, near and dear ones. So, you need to say, stay safe. That's yeah. your responsibility. You can, we can all sit and blame the government, but government cannot do anything in this. That right. is the yeah. punchline here. Yeah. So, we, I will just we, go, we to, go to the next go thing. To yeah. that, uh, the other point that you, I mean, that needs yeah. to be discussed this uh, uh, vaccine diplomacy because uh, yeah. you have been reading about it and you have been researching about it. I would want to hear, I would want to hear from you. See, Bala, simple. Like, before we get to vaccine that, diplomacy... Just a minute. I, you seem to have vanished. I can hear your voice, but you seem to have vanished. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> but that's okay. If I'm <laughs> vanished, you can see, you can actually at least hear me. That's yeah, okay. okay. Right. So, what we are saying is, this is see, the, the key problem here is that we need to understand that uh, uh, this need not be a political subject. We need not exactly. get into the politicization of the subject. So, the Indian companies are manufacturing 60% of the, world, the world's total production at this moment. So we need to give them credit for that. I mean, it's exactly. not as if uh, they are not doing anything at all. They are doing enough and more. And uh, government is actually what is it? What is the government doing with its diplomacy? I mean, I, what what they call the uh, vaccine diplomacy? Let me give you some numbers here. The total supply. This is government. These are government numbers. Uh, the, the out of the total supply, they, I mean, it's about uh, sixty-four, close to sixty-five million units. We can say. Out exactly. of the 65 million units, uh, which is like a month's production, that's about it, I think. So, 10.5 uh, million is actually grant in aid. It is going as grant from India's side, 10.5 exactly. million. That is what we are doing using as diplomacy. The out, And after that, 35.8 million is actually commercial use, which Bala, you mentioned that we are making money out of it. But exactly. we are giving it to com countries who need it. 18.2 million is actually COVAX. COVAX is a WHO-backed program for program. Uh, making a vaccine for low and uh, middle-income uh, countries. Then our own guys are making this. So essentially, what are we talking about? The grant in aid, the freebies is basically just 10.5 million, which is a very small number compared to every other number. Well, and who are these enough. people? Yeah, who yeah. are these people, com countries we are sending it to? I mean, look at the look at the number of the that countries number. that we are sending. Yeah, I mean, it is it is uh, I mean, the neighboring countries: Bhutan, uh, Bangladesh, Af Pakistan, Afghanistan, I mean, Pakistan, Pakistan Afghanistan. Afghanistan. These are the countries: UAE, uh, Maldives, Mauritius. These are the countries. These are all neighboring countries, and we mm -hmm. have all been talking about how China is building a, a sort of a, a wall around India and sort of to keep. India from mixing with these countries. Now, if you do vaccine diplomacy, what's wrong with it? Nothing wrong that with is it. One and, point. Uh, yeah. I mean, the kind of good news that it can get you from, say, Pakistan or uh, Bangladesh, it should be... A... You, you saw the Bangladesh goodwill, right? I mean, even yes. Modi did go there. I mean, there were protests, but then you you always have that. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to hold a, bash, I mean, for, I mean, a, a flag for a one political party here. My point is that I think people need to look at the country first. This is not about politics. I think this is where the challenge is. So, I mean, Rahul Gandhi writing a letter and tweeting about uh, saying saying that, oh, you know what, I mean, this is there. I think he needs to put the facts in perspective. That exactly. is where I, I have mean, a For him to say the states are being starved of uh, uh, COVID vaccine just because India is in, that's a very, very irresponsible and facile statement because, with a, because the, the, the numbers don't back his claim. Exactly. 
So mm-hmm. now that is the that is where I have a problem. Although having said that, I will also add this bit. There seems to be a complete antipathy towards Maharashtra for obvious reasons. We have seen that. Have seen what has happened over the past few months in Maharashtra and how the Shiv Sena broke away and all of that. I'm not getting into that. So it's almost like Maharashtra. You 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 are not good. All the others. So created a mess. So, you kind of sorted yeah, yourself. You sorted mm-hmm. out. So even now, when they have sanctioned the, uh, I mean, uh, um, uh, Maharashtra's quota, I think it is lower than what was expected. I don't know the exact numbers, but I remember reading that it is lower. So there is a political scenario so here, but I think to, politics, yeah. and that needs to be called out. And it's good that you are yeah. calling it out. Yes, calling. that is stupid mm-hmm. politics. I don't think BJP also needs to do something like this because if I mean the point is simple. Uh, Rahul Gandhi writing a letter, nobody. I mean, just because we read it, we brought it up here. Nobody reads it. Uh, but if the BJP does this at the top, I don't think it's a good idea because you are talking about people's lives here, and there needs to be an equitable distribution. So, at the end of the day, what am I saying? COVID diplomacy is actually overstated. That's what I'm saying. So, okay. uh, in my mind, I think COVID di- diplomacy is overstated, and uh, uh, we need to sort of uh, accept that. Exactly. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, the fact I'm is, happy that India is kind of doing it, though. Yes, it's good because you need people and. You, This is the time where you need to be gracious and magnanimous, and some of it needs to go out, and that is good. See, very simple. See, government is trying to do its best. As people, what we can do is do the, I mean, follow the health protocols and get vaccinated as soon as possible. Yeah, that's so the only we'll, message. Yeah, so yeah, eventually, that's all we will say. I mean, government has done. This is the largest ever uh, exercise, vaccination uh, exercise in the world in the till now in the history of humankind. It needs to be the fastest, also. That is also. all we'll say in that. And for I that, think, uh, we as uh, because one of the worrying parts about this vaccination program, and in fact, Prime Minister Modi also spoke about it with the chief ministers in one of those meetings. Is vaccine very wastage? The percentage yes. is around six point five for the national average, and in some states it's pretty high. Plus, states like Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, it's uh, in double digits. That is something which we can't afford at this stage. We can't let. Vaccines, vaccine go waste. So yeah. that's one thing we need to keep an eye on. Yes. Mm. So I think that's that's it for the day. I think uh, um, I'm sorry if uh, the visuals disappeared, but then I don't think you missed anything. I'm still yeah, looking exactly. the same. So thanks for watching and uh, share your views and tell us what you would like us to discuss in the future shows. Thanks, Bala. Thanks from uh, for my pleasure, uh, Raja. Sir, yeah. Please. And uh, so we'll catch up with you next week with another topic on another location and uh, see where it goes. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.